Mentoring in its most traditional sense, I think is the relationship of shared experience, a shared perspective, shared ideas that exist between two people, a mentor and a mentee. I think the reverse mentoring program uh, actually turns the traditional relationship on its head, where the mentor uh, becomes the mentee and vice versa. And this is a very refreshing, very original take on a very established process of a sharing of ideas and perspectives. So for me, uh, what I really wanted to find out more from my mentor uh, was whether there were any uh, blind spots or any areas that I needed to pay attention to when engaging a younger demographic of uh, employees or uh, colleagues. So I think uh, the mentoring journey was a very fruitful one. Of course, it started out a little bit awkward because, you know, I think both of us were both new to this idea of reverse mentoring whereby the junior staff is actually the mentor and then you have to give guidance, some advice to the senior professional in, the, on, in an organisation. And I can see how that would be pretty daunting for some. Uh, but I think for both of us, the conversations just bounced off each other, you know. Then eventually, you just ended up really focusing on the conversation and the dynamics just flowed naturally. As the mentee, uh, one perhaps more used to being the mentor. So it, it did take a while for me to sort of warm up to this very different role that I was, I was uh, uh, involved in. But again, as the process evolved, it became a very organic progression of the relationship and subsequent meetings uh, started to flow very naturally. I realized that uh, Jonathan, he goes on a diet sometimes uh, before an event and he has a really small appetite. I found out that uh, Gerald is actually the son of a Hong Kong businessman, so a lot of the insights he had for me uh, also came from his father's business. Uh, but now that he has a new three-month-old baby, I think he has a different boss now. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> we, we support very different football teams <laughs> with a shared history of, of uh, immense hostility. So that was a lot of fun. The need for me to expand my toolkit in terms of uh, skill sets as I you know, take on roles whereby uh, in a different part of the organisation and I need to engage with new people, um, especially people of a much wider uh, range of functions and uh, age groups. Yeah. So it's been very, very valuable, very timely actually for me. Serena comes across as someone who has a drive, determination and ability to make things happen. That really reflects upon myself that I should also be always open and be ready to accept new challenges. It's an eye-opening experience that allows you to see the other side of the story and the mentoring can be fun, interactive and mind-changing. I think the biggest takeaway for me is that, you know, I want to be the leader that I say I hope there is in my organisation. So the biggest aha moment for me uh, was to learn about perspective and it does help me a lot right now in life or in uh, taking on projects uh, to always think about what can the other parties be thinking, their thought process, their considerations before I even jump in to making certain assumptions. So I think that is very important for me. Likewise, for me, the aha moment is also about perspective. I went in to learn from you. At the same time, I hope I was able to also share with you some views and perspective. It became more like a two-way, yeah, two a mutual learning and yeah. became a bit of an exchange of ideas. And I think that's definitely something very good in terms of promoting understanding and bonding within the firm. Yeah, very enjoyable. Indeed, extremely. Yeah, and by the way, I don't really diet like what he said. I just eat less. I control quantity, not that's, diet. That's diet. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right.